Today we are reviving a series that I have wanted to bring back for quite some time now. This is, we're calling it episode one of my working my way through my entire makeup collection until I've used every single product series. It's a very long name, but I actually started the series a couple years ago, I think, over on TikTok and Instagram, and I think I just had too big of a makeup collection at the time that it was never really gonna be possible for me to use every single product in a timely manner. I have a much smaller collection now, so I think we can actually do this this time. I'm gonna add these videos to that original playlist, but like I said, I have some on YouTube, some on Instagram and TikTok as well. I want to kind of bring back the series over there as well. Um, I will have all of the products that I'm using today linked down below, assuming they are still available. I know that I have some old makeup in here and in my collection, so not everything may be available. We'll see. It's easy to sit down and do a declutter and decide what you're gonna keep and get rid of, but it's the, the true test is actually trying the products on and wearing them, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna apply these products, wear it for a few hours, come back to you, and then let you know what I plan on keeping, what I plan on decluttering, and then what I feel like I might need to try again before making that final decision. I just want to make sure that I'm only keeping things that I'm actually going to use and actually enjoy and get rid of anything that's not the right shade that I don't like and that I just don't need in my collection anymore because there's no point in keeping things just to keep things. So I decided with the new year we were going to bring this series back. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. The first product that I'm using is from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Believe It Primer. I can already tell you this is definitely on the older side. It's one of those like kind of putty-like primers, similar to Elf and Tatcha, but different. This one is definitely more of a, mm, I would say a more hydrating base. It's it kind of reminds me of like a coconut oily feel initially, but not quite as heavy or oily, and it really does absorb into your skin well. So um, I actually, again, have really enjoyed this product. It smells like coconut. It's definitely fragranced. Um, still smells good, so that's a good sign, but I do know that this is a bit older. You know what? Now that I think about it, it kind of doesn't smell. <laughs> doesn't smell fine. It does sort of, but like also kind of not, which is a little bit concerning. So we're still going to send it and continue on with the video because it's already on my face. My skin has been a bit dry in this area. Florida has been chilly recently. So this is definitely what my skin needed as far as formula goes. For foundation, we've got another oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is a product that I have refused to declutter because of the sheer price of this product. I don't even know how much it is. I don't even know how old this is. I don't even really want to know how old it is because it's probably shocking. Um, this is in the shade 4.5, so I don't even know if this is really going to work for me. It might be too dark, but hopefully it's at least somewhat okay. It's definitely a sheer finish sheer coverage foundation so um not exactly probably what i ideally wanted today i've been enjoying a nice medium coverage more natural looking foundation recently uh, but this might be a little bit too light coverage and it does smell a bit like paint so again <laughs> uh maybe we'll call this a full face of expired makeup instead but see i wouldn't know the this about these products if i didn't actually try them on and use them. Okay, 17 pumps of this foundation later, and this is the coverage we have. Actually, it was probably like four pumps, but still not the best coverage, so I definitely will go in with some concealer. The shade's not terrible, but it could be better. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and just kind of add a little bit of coverage where I need it. And then I'm also gonna go in with this Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I have this in the shade Light Medium, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this right in here. We actually have a live guest audience today. Poncho is over here falling asleep, so hopefully you aren't. <laughs> hopefully I'm not that boring. I gotta say, I'm not mad at how our base is looking. For powder, I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I have used this once and I really enjoyed it when I used it. Um, so we're gonna try it again today. It's kind of like, it has a bit of a, oh my goodness. 
pink uh, hue to it, very light pink hue. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit of this. I think, hmm, I was gonna use my powder puff. I have this one from Laura Mercier, but I think I'm just gonna use a brush. No, I'm gonna use my powder puff. I'm gonna use this to set my under eye. I chose a bit more of a natural collection of products today. So I have like cream bronzer, cream blush, so, um, and cream highlighter. So I'm gonna go in very lightly with this powder just to set my under eye. I feel like this definitely darkened my under eye. I don't know if you can tell. So maybe I do need to put this all over my face. Mm. Yeah, we'll just do a light dusting. I'm using the new purple bling brushes. This is the Royal Enchantment Collection. So beautiful. I need them to come out with a peach collection, like the color of my sweater here. <sighs> that would be a 10 out of 10. Okay, so skin, not looking bad. Not looking bad. Could it be better? Absolutely. Okay, for bronzer, we have the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. This is in the shade baked this is their matte bronzer i just dropped it oh my goodness it landed just like this <laughs> oh and there's a hair on it now <sighs> i feel a little bit all over the place okay we're gonna put this on and ooh, feels a little dry looks a little dark um i've been loving the rare beauty bronzer stick that has been my go-to for the last like year pretty much and I was never a cream bronzer person, so um, yeah, I don't really know what to do with my nose. We're just gonna put some lines on there and hope it works out. Um, I'm gonna spray my sponge. I already did like dampen it, but I'm gonna use this setting spray. This is the NYX Bear With Me setting spray. And we're gonna just kind of do a little one, two. And that was more than two, but <laughs> it's fine. Now there's, okay, gotta pull it together. Okay. Now we have a little bit of extra moisture because I feel like this bronzer stick felt very dry. And I'm just gonna blend this out. Nah. Nah. That did not work. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have sprayed. <laughs> Let me show you this. That literally just like wiped off my, um, my foundation that was there before. After, what do we think? How does this look? My makeup looks atrocious. Let's go ahead and blend this out. Nice and close up. Maybe my sponge was too wet. Let's try it on this side. Um, <laughs> what's happening? Okay, was it the powder? Is it the bronzer? Is it the sponge? with the water or the setting spray. Okay, that looks all right. That doesn't look bad. Let's see if I can fix this though, because I need to wear this makeup for at least a couple hours. Okay, with a little bit more blending, I think we're okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I definitely should not have sprayed my sponge because after like applying more and re-blending it with just like my damp sponge, not my sopping wet sponge, things are looking better. <laughs> that blended out way easier. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. This is in the shade Southbound. And I'm just gonna apply this directly to my, oh. Maybe that was not a good idea. <laughs> We're just gonna apply it directly to the cheek. Let's see how pigmented this is. Was that too much? We're just gonna blend and see. Eh, I don't think that was too much. I, again, have used this formula before and recall really enjoying it. Um, I think it's really natural looking. It has a really nice color to it. Um, that actually looks really pretty. I'm like loving this blush color. For brows, I'm going in with the Revlon Micro Brow Pencil, Color Stay Micro Brow Pencil. I am just gonna use this to even out the brows a bit. And then I'm gonna go in with this Pixie Brow Tamer. This is just like a clear brow gel. For lips, we're gonna go ahead and try this one. This is from ColourPop. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade sugar cookie this is a pearlized finish and let's see how we like it it looks really pretty i recently got this in pr actually mmm that is so pretty it's very icy it's giving um <laughs> like 2000s maybe when you had those like shimmery 
bullet lipsticks that were like a light icy pink it's kind of what it reminds me of um but just like lip gloss form and not quite as metallic for eyeshadow we're going in with the wild nothing palette from ColourPop. they just released their twilight collection and i wanted to buy it so bad so 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 bad because i love twilight I am a diehard Team Jacob Twilight fan, and I just love the like franchise as a whole, but $24 for an eyeshadow palette that was like kind of blue and greenish, which I don't really wear a whole lot, um, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I was trying to be smart and financially responsible with my makeup purchases. So instead, we're using this ColourPop palette that I've had for I don't know how many years, but it's so beautiful. Look at the color story. I feel like this sweater was the perfect thing to wear. I actually picked out the palette before the sweater and I didn't even I didn't even put this together. So it ended up working out great. So I'm going to go in with this mm, 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 morning side, this like peachy color. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. This is the E23 from my collaboration with Bling Brushes. I feel like I saw some negativity about that new Twilight palette, but I actually think that it was perfect. Like, it, the color story was like the filter on the movies, at least especially the first Twilight movie. <laughs> um, so the palette itself was literally like the, the color palette of the filter that was on the first movie. And I just feel like it was very i don't know it, it was reminiscent it just brought back that vibe and i thought they did a really good job and it's still like a semi-wearable palette which i think adds to it personally um obviously you could have gone like black white and red like the covers of the books but i think the blue green like hue to it all was honestly like even more creative in my opinion let me know what you think do you like the the color story do you think they did a good job like keeping it on theme at least now i'm gonna take the shade spirited which is a super like shimmery one and i'm just gonna use my finger and apply this to my lid oh my gosh that is so sparkly i do wish that this palette had a mirror it's like not having a mirror is unfortunate but that's definitely a first world problem <laughs> I have like 17 mirrors surrounding me. I just don't want to grab one. <laughs> Literally love that eyeshadow. Mm, so pretty. It's kind of like their Super Shock Shadow formula. For highlighter, we have this highlighter stick from Hourglass. This is in the shade Champagne Flash. And mm, I think I'm going to put this like on my finger and then it oh that is so pretty then i'm gonna apply this to my cheek that way we just kind of like warm up the formula and it blends a little bit better i feel like it's sitting a little funky on top of that powder i shouldn't have used powder i don't think i think that might have been my downfall here and then i'm gonna set my face with that same setting spray the bear with me prime set refresh maybe i can bring some hydration back <laughs> with that setting spray i didn't even use that much powder that was just like super matte like right up in here my skin looks very matte and powdered i think the setting spray definitely helped now i'm gonna go in with some mascara this one's from milk makeup this is the rise mascara here's what the brush looks like it's a very like bristly brush um kind of has like a curve to it it looks a little bit like sporadic like it's kind of all over the place the bristles are at least so i'm gonna buy this and i will be right back all right so here is the finished makeup look i think it turned out pretty good we have a little bit of little hiccup couple of little hiccups um along the way but i think the end result actually looks pretty good so i'm gonna wear this for a couple hours um i have to go feed luna just do like a few things um and then i'll come back to you we'll see how the makeup is looking then because you know things can look good right away but then look not so good after a bit so it's kind of like a little bit of a wear test built in so um it is 2 30 right now 2 30 p.m so i'll come back to you in a few hours and we will go over the results of what i am keeping 
what I am decluttering and what I am going to try again and just put back into rotation. I am back for the update. It has been a few hours now. We've got Luna in her bassinet over here wide awake. So hopefully she doesn't cry for the duration of this video. We've also got Pancho kind of lurking around here. So again, with the studio audience, oh, Miss Lou is um, kind of like babbling now. Like she kind of like makes little like cooing noises and and things. So hopefully it doesn't turn to crying, but let's go ahead and get on with it. <laughs> As I say that, the cries begin. Um, so here we have the products that I used today. I'm gonna do a quick, a quick little keep declutter try again and just kind of give you a general thought on the products so starting off with primer I think this is a great primer I don't have any complaints about this primer I will say my makeup is looking <laughs> my makeup is looking pretty good it definitely looks a little bit cakey I would say um, not my best not my best makeup look I think Miss Lou learned her um, FOMO from Poncho. Miss Lou and Mr. Poncho both have the biggest cases of FOMO I've ever seen in my entire life. So, um, Miss Lou wanted to make her appearance and see what was going on. So, for primer, it's a great primer. No complaints. The smell is a little bit off, and I do know that it is a bit of an older product. So, I think we're going to start this video off with a declutter. Only because it's old not because it's a bad product. For foundation, again, not my perfect shade match. Definitely a little bit tan for my current skin tone. Another very old product that kind of smells like paint. So um, we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one as well. It hurts because I know this was expensive and I like keeping it. I, I do enjoy the formula. I wish it had more coverage. So it's just not, it's not ideal for me. I need to stop holding on to it because it's expensive and fancy. So product number two, making decluttered. For concealer, we're gonna keep both of these concealers. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh, I love. I knew I loved this going into this video. It's one of my all time favorites. And then the Rare Beauty as well. I really enjoy, it's definitely not like an everyday, like must have for me, but I, <laughs> I do enjoy using this. Um, I think it's a, a good product and I will, again, continue to use that and um, have a little fun with it. My sweet Miss Lou is literally Jarvis's twin. <laughs> it's funny, I always see those TikToks that are like, don't tell the mom that the baby looks like her husband because she carried that child in her womb for nine months and did all the hard work. <laughs> um, but I know that she looks like Jarvis. <laughs> she is 10 weeks old. Isn't that crazy? 10 weeks old, Miss Lou. You're going on three months already. What's going on? Where has the time gone? For powder, we have the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I feel like I like this. I really liked it the first time I used it, so I think I might need to try this again. Um, so this is our first try it again product. I liked it. I feel like today it might not have worked out so well for me, but I feel like we need to try it with another combination of products to get a better feel um, for if it was the powder that kind of made my makeup look a little cakey, but it could have been the primer or foundation as well. For bronzer, I'm gonna keep the Milk Makeup Contour Stick, <laughs> even though, or bronzer stick. Um, even though we had a little trouble with it, I think it pulled through. That was my bad for spraying the setting spray on the sponge. Don't do that. Damp sponge, yes. Wet sponge, no. <laughs> uh, but this actually blended out really well and I like the color a lot. So this one I am definitely going to keep. The blush is a definite keep for me as well. It, I feel like it appears more pigmented in person than it does on camera. I was looking for like a handheld mirror so I can see up close. It's definitely still very pigmented on my cheeks. I feel like it has a bit of a matte finish. Um, so I think I could have blended it out a little bit better, but I actually love this color and I think it's still a really nice formula. And again, everything just looks kind of dry and cakey. And again, I don't know if it was the powder or what. So this one is a keep. I know I like this formula, so we're gonna go ahead and keep it. 
This is also a mini size. It came in like a little trio. Um, I used to have the full size. I don't think I've used this particular shade yet though until today. For highlighter, we have the Hourglass Highlighter Stick. This is another one that I'm gonna keep. I think it looks so pretty, very natural. I feel like, again, a little bit funky with the powder, but the product itself, I know that I love this product and it's such a pretty color and I just, I love everything about it. I know it's expensive, but I'm also keeping it <laughs> because I truly enjoy the formula itself. We have a fussy baby girl sitting in my lap, so <laughs> let's continue. Um, for brows, both of these brow products are great. I enjoy both of them, the pencil and the clear brow gel. No complaints there. Um, the mascara, I also really like this mascara. I feel like... I feel like it looks nice. It's not like my favorite. It's a little bit messy. So I think this is something that I will try again. Um, the brow products are keeps. Same with the uh, bronzer, blush, and highlight. I don't know if I specifically said that. I think this is going to be another uh, try again product with the powder. Um, just to see, uh, again, the wand itself was really messy like in the packaging. And it was just kind of like all over the place. It got on my eyelid a lot. So I don't know. I feel iffy about it, so that one will be a try again. The lip gloss is a for sure keep. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I think this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. It is so pretty. I love the formula, and um, I think it's really nice. So this one is a definite keep. The NYX Setting Spray is another keep for me, even though <laughs> we had the bronzer mishap. Using this on my face definitely revived some moisture back into it. <laughs> my skin is looking a little dry right now, so I can definitely use a refresh on this, but I think this is a really, really nice setting spray. Again, it's really good at rehydrating your makeup if you use a lot of powder. So that one is a keep. And then the eyeshadow palette is also a keep. This is like my favorite part of the look is the lip gloss and the eyeshadow. I love ColourPop's eyeshadow formula. I think it's fantastic. They're generally more affordable <laughs> products. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> and this is just a two color look, just that matte peach and the shimmery kind of champagne color. So super quick and easy. Love the formula, love how many colors they have in their palettes and just the variety is unbeatable. So um, that's a definite keep for me as well. So uh, unfortunately we're decluttering these two. So at least we're getting rid of some. That's like, you know, definitely a goal of mine is to declutter products that are taking up space. Are you talking? Yeah? What are you trying to say? Oh no, she's upset. <laughs> trying to film videos as a m mom is a lot harder. <laughs> um, so yeah, two products decluttered. We've got two try again products and then the rest we are keeping. I think I'm gonna have to create like a spreadsheet or a Word document or something to keep track of what I've included in this series. So <laughs> um, that I know like once I've officially used every single product in my collection. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to bring this back. I'm excited to keep doing these videos. And again, let me know if you want me to bring the series back to Instagram and TikTok talk it's a lot quicker there like shorter form content obviously probably a little bit less detailed but let me know if you would like to see that there as well um but i'll definitely keep doing them here on youtube for sure so i hope you guys uh will consider this season two i hope you enjoyed season two episode one <laughs> of working my way through my makeup collection um i love you so so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one <laughs> Bye.